Good morning. It's pimp and stink here. I've put my tripod down somewhere and I can't find it. I imagine it's in one of the vehicles. I'm just taking the grain cart off because I need to bring some rams in and then pimp them out. The plan this morning is don't hit Kev in the truck. Oh, beans. Fun. Take this grain cart off. It's horrible. Bring these rams here in and then I need to put them out back here um, with the crossbred ewes. And then whatever's left after I've put our eight out are going down the road. Here are the rams. That is not a ram, that is a cow. I am aware of that, don't worry. The little ones are all the little prime lines that we bottle raise. Dude, can you chuck a yui and head out of the gate, please? Time to go right. Right. There is a fence there. She ran straight into the fence. Right. Good girl. She got there. It was a fucking process, but she fucking got there. Come on, turn it around, boys. They look a bit stiff this morning. Guys, you've got to at least get to the paddock before you get stiff, all right? I'm just trying to find the crate. Number one problem I have with this trailer is it won't fucking go on. Like, I'm just not heavy enough to weigh it down. Slug, come here, give me your fat ass. Good job, Slug, you did well. Now I have my pimp transporter on. Let's go pick up my boys. Right, boys, I need eight of you. One, two, three, four. Okay, you didn't go in there. Pew, 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 pew. One, two, three, four, eight. Excellent, now put them on the trailer. Oh, there's a lamb in here. Come on, boys, jump on. Don't really want to get in there because I'm going to get her. Put lamb out, they've started. Don't you turn, get in the trailer. Get in the, no, no. Fucking hell. Come on, dude, get in. Hop. You don't want to get in their fucking way. All right, my dudes. Let's take you to your ladies. I don't know if it's just me who notices this, but um, rams kind of have a smell to them that the ewes don't have. It's not pleasant. I don't know if that's what makes, gets the ewes in the mood or what, but I don't know, they've got, they got a stank about them. Ladies are coming from all over to meet these boys. They think I've got the feed card on. Let's talk about rams, baby. When you put rams out for joining, there are five things you need to look for. Number one and two, teeth and toes. Their toes need to be in good condition. They can't be overgrown. Um, here we don't really need to trim toes as much because in summer they will break off when the ground gets hard. So we don't normally have the problem. This guy's back one. They're a little bit long. They'll break off within the next two, three weeks when the ground starts to really harden out. Next thing is tossle and testes. We do that when they're shorn. I ain't getting in there. Number three is torso. Are they in good condition? This ram is, you wanna score three or four when you put rams out. I just put a bit of pink stuff on some of their heads. They didn't take much encouragement to get out. Come on ladies, come over and meet your men. Here is this year's selection. Do you approve? Yeah, they do. Oh no, they're pleased. They're very pleased. They're already about to get busy. Good to see Kev made it nice and easy for me to back in this time. I've done some thinking. I'm gonna take them down separately. I'm gonna take eight and then four because of how keen they were. Um, last thing you wanna do is trying to shut a gate that doesn't shut properly on rams that are coming out of it. It's an excellent way to end up with no teeth. Right, boys? I need eight of you. Five, six, seven, eight, and a lamb. Why do the lambs insist on coming? Dudes, don't you? You fucking would, wouldn't you? Get up. 
Come on, let's go. Oh, we're gonna have the same problem again. If I had my tripod, I'd record it. However, I don't, and I don't want to get hurt. So we'll be back. Come on, dude, jump in. Here's my baby here. You're a chunky boy, aren't you, dude? He's got thick neck too. He's a beautiful boy, aren't you? One of you need to go. I don't care who. Come on, let's go. That is not gonna be comfortable for you in a minute, dude, if he puts his head up. All right, I've re-pimped my ride. Let's go. Next mob. We have arrived. A lot of you have asked, where do I get the hat? Where's the hat come from? I have linked a similar hat in the description. Um, it's an Amazon affiliate link. I think it's called a storefront. Anyway, on the storefront, I've got a heap of stuff that I use daily, including the hat, if you would like to purchase it. Otherwise, you can literally just Google uh, fishing hat with mask and it should come up. But if you do buy through that link, I'll make, you know, a couple dollars. Hello, my precious. I'm gonna jump in, grab that lamb, because I don't want that lamb coming out. But they're jumping out. I've got, off you go boys, they are over there though. First looks. Lamb, you come back with me. Next ones is, we've actually got five dorsets, I think. So we've got these four. And then it, I think, yeah, we've still got, we've got one in here. Hopefully I can get them loaded. There's one more lamb in with those prime lines. That lamb against the door looking at me with the wool. I want him. Ow. Stop. I'll just send these boys away, get them walking back to where they're going. The all sorts are loaded up and trying to fuck each other. Can we save it for the paddock, please? I'm going to be a little bit cheeky and leave this gate open. These prime lines are actually coming back down this lane, back to their paddock soon anyway. Well, it's a job after this one. We're here now, I'm just gonna kick these two out. There they are there. To the ewes. I got a funny comment I thought I'd share with you. On the how to how we crutch in the cradle short, I've, I got a few comments now about people saying, why isn't he wearing gloves? I guess they make them tougher out here. Crutching is probably one of the cleanest jobs we do. It's just a little bit of piss and shit, you'll cope. These ladies are waiting expectingly. Well, I have good news, ladies. I've got your men. They have put, oh, she's fly blown. I will deal with her in a minute. Here are your gentlemen. Oh, she's off to investigate. Drop this lamb off, take the trailer off. Hopefully she sees them. And off we go. Trailer's off. I'm just picking up the stragglers now of these prime line ewes. Just gotten into the lane. We've picked up a couple more. Hypo watchers. I think we've met up the majority with the majority of the mob now. You need to go all the way left and get all of the sheep. Please, you've literally just walked past a fucking sheep, Tavo. Shut the gates, pick up slug, and go put those prime lines away. Boys, come on, you missed the gate. Back you go, come on. Why do I only count eight butts? Where are the other four? Here's the rest of them. Stay there! Yeah. No, out there! no good just watch that she's just got a condition called selective hearing update i found my thingy it was where i left it maggot sheep where are you i'm gonna do fly blown this fly blown you she is fourth from the right side in the back i'll run her down and we'll be back good girl Good girl, good girl. Okay, so she actually ran into me instead of 
um, typo. Grab out the shears and then we'll give this unlucky lady a bit of a snip. strike looks like this is body strike this is what happens when the maggots attack some where the flies attack somewhere else on the sheep when i talk about fly strike with sheep i do get quite a bit of confusion in the comments so how i understand it is fly strike is a general term fly blown is when the original attack begins around the sheep's bum and body strike is when the original tack begins somewhere else on the body. But sheep that get body strike will generally get it in the shoulders, backs, or heads. That's where you see it most. So that's where I think fly strike comes from, a mix of fly blown and body strike. I feel like body blown is not the way to go. The maggots are off. Okay, see those flies? They're the ones that cause it. Oh, the clicks on the other side of the ute. Two minutes. I know this has not been an enjoyable experience. There she is, she's done. All right, love. Yeah. Just got the call from the vet about Delta. She's fine. I've never been so relieved in my life. Um, what happened was it was a bug bite or something. What's happened is the white blood cells have gone way overboard and caused a growth. That's the best result you could have asked for. It was like, it could have happened because of like slug and Delta play a lot. And like Typo could have just bitten her foot with her festy, fessy mouth and caused it. Bringing these prime lines up to be weaned. However, we've got a couple of naughty ones in here. So I'll pull them out, get them in the lane. Then I'll, I'll chuck the drone up in the air. I've got it with me. Hey, come on, you naughty little grumpkins. Out you go. Let's go. I'm pretty sure, oh, these are all lambs. They've already come through the fence. So I'm not gonna bother getting them out because they're just gonna go back through the fence. Bring these through the gate, hopefully. <laughs> Don't need those lambs, particularly at the back. However, if they want to come, they can come. <laughs> shit, is she actually gonna run out the gate? No, she's gonna go to the fence. I don't think so. Typo's on her way to deal with it. See, she she does have good days. Does do good slug things sometimes. Hey, look at that. She's just gone straight up there. I was not in the right spot. There we go. Look at that. Top go left. Shut this gate, shut this gate, shut this She's got them under control now. She's going out there, hopefully. That's where she needs to be anyway. Yep, she's done exactly what I've asked her to do. She's doing this thing where she's going way too high. Typo! going way too high and then they realize that that's a spot they can run and is good position no that was good positioning first thing i'm going to do is come in and observe the situation looks like most of them are here i did see some were down um down the hill a bit before got them coming over uh, it looks like the ones from the creek have also come up along there after I've got them into a big mob, I'll set the drone up, have it track the ute because it won't track a sheep, and then hopefully we might get some nice footage.
good. We're just continuing up to bring these using. Good job, Slug. Do you want to run? Is that what you're wanting? You can run if you want. I'm going to do a calendar, I think, um, next year. I'm, I've, I, I kind of want it for me, but I, I might sell it if there's people interested. I've definitely left it too late this year. I only came up with the idea a couple of days ago when I took a picture and I thought, oh, wouldn't that look nice in a calendar? Let me know if that's something you're interested in. I'd like to do meat, but I don't think that's possible. Wool is a possibility. I know Sandy does that, but I don't know, maybe I could cater to an Australian audience. Let me know what you'd want if you were gonna buy merch. Let me know if you would buy merch. I understand if you don't want to, that's totally fine. Um, I don't know. I just thought it'd be something to offer. Totally forgot, but for context, these are the turtles. Um, if you've watched my older content, all the turtle videos, uh, the ewes getting stuck upside down, these are them. Oh, Jackson's coming in the tractor. But these are them. This is what they look like now. Contrary to the comments, I can actually keep sheep alive. Slug needs moistening. She's struggling. If you guys could move faster, Slug needs a drink, please. These lambs here were our test subjects for the longer tails. We're experimenting with uh, ewes having longer tails to cover their vulvas. Um, I think I talked about this in the Wee Shear Turtles video when I was marking them. But for example, these two little ones here, these two boys, uh, they've got the normal short tails when they go to market if they go to market not on contract producers and the um, buyers prefer them to have the little fluffy bums little fluffy bum tails whereas this one here at the back she's got a longer tail which covers all of her bits and pieces she's a ewe and the idea is is that reduces the chance of a prolapse and it's meant to also keep their bum cleaner however the prime lines do have pretty clean bums already they're also breeding worm resistance and foot rot resistance into them. So they're gonna be a pretty hardy breed. Are you ready for your moistening? <music> Fuck, I almost fell in. Wouldn't that be funny? Just bringing some lambs down, um, letting them out with dad. Here's the boy that had the spots on his bum. I kinda wanna take him home. Uh, if I do, I need to decide now. I think I want him. He shall be a pet. Put him in there. He's coming home, I've decided. Hello, Smiggles. You stay there, creature. I'll be with you shortly. And he's used back in now to be drenched. Back here with friend who I'm going to need a name for. I'm just going to lock him in a pen by himself. Hopefully he's fine and behaved. Then I've got to take these ewes away to the barley stubble and they can grow on there what do you want to be called shopping basket there you go good boy yeah. he will make some beautiful fleeces won't you child yeah. indeed little dudes or dudettes <laughs> ho 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 please go in Yes, good girl. Only one of you need to jump and then we're right. I think Typo's left with Dad. Girls, out we hop. The little ladies. Righto. We'll go again. Chucked him in too, just so I didn't have to come back a third time for him. I did have the space. Let's get you out. Right, that was 31 there so 38 and 31 They're my friends i have a new friend for you i'll grab him out and chuck him in they think he is a dog i think what a magic oh i was gonna say it was a magical moment but it was not Poor dude. The ones up the back are interested. They're like, oh, new friend. How fun. <laughs> and these ones are like, nah, fuck this shit. The ones at the back have realised they're just pacing the fence because they think I'm going to feed them. 
You guys are idiots. Couldn't find Typo, she wasn't here. Turns out she's still back at the other shed. Why, I don't know. My slug has been recovered. Like the video or Typo will get lost again. So you better like the video. And subscribe. Hello members. Today we are, I'm going to be answering this really long-winded question while I do fly-blown sheep. 